What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I've got this little GPS uh, smart. It says heads up display. It's basically a speedometer here and you plug it into your cigarette lighter of your vehicle. I picked this up back in the summer for my Cushman when I still had it and uh, I never installed it and I was thinking, well, let's just put it on the little white DS that we're, you know, we're starting to work on and it's a little cheap modification. Anyone can buy it. It's not going to cost an arm and a leg. I think this was like 35, 40 bucks. I'll be sure to put a link in the description below where you can check these out or others uh, for that matter. You might not want this one and I totally understand. Okay. Uh, on the back of this display, on the back of this box here, it just reads this right here. It reads GPS HUD, which means heads up display. Display below information. Driving speed. Side light number. Single driving time. Single driving distain. Not distance, distain. Driving direction. Clock. Altitude. Battery voltage. Speed up test. Brake test. Over speed alarm. Freely switch between kilometers and miles. Now I understand this is a cheap gadget and I understand this came straight here on a boat from China. But will it work in a golf cart and will it work good in a golf cart? The only bad thing about this I can see so far is this is not going to measure your battery voltage for 48 volts or 36 volts. It's only going to work with 12 volts. So with that being said, we're going to open the package up, take a look at it. I want to say it's got a cigarette lighter in the last time I opened this up. And we're probably just going to snap, cut the cigarette lighter end off, wire it into the golf cart, put it on there and see exactly how well it works. I'm like 6'2", so it's got like seven, seven and a half feet of cable here. So it's got plenty of cable to run it. So, all right guys, so what we have here is a power Eurus battery. I got this battery for an upcoming build on a golf cart I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using this battery just for my accessories. I plan to do a little bit more stereo in that golf cart than just a basic stereo. And I didn't wanna add just a couple of uh, converters in there. I thought about just putting one battery in there. This is a 100 amp, uh, 12 volt lithium battery. Uh, Roy Powell is the maker of this company here. They own the Power Your Rust batteries. And I'll put a link to this right here in the description below where you can check them out or whatever. Really and truly, it's just a red and black wire, I think. Hold on a second. Let's strip that back even further. Not sure if you guys can see this or not. I stripped the wire back and it's just red and black. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip these right here back and just run them to the battery. Yep, that works, as you can tell here. So if you cut this end off here, 12 volts feeds this. This would be perfect for our application. I'm gonna go ahead and see where we wanna mount it out on the golf cart and let's get it in place. All right, so we're back on the dash here. And as you can see, we have a key switch, which is the master key switch. We have the headlight switch. We have the low battery warning indicator. I believe that's what that is called. I've always just unhooked them. They're just annoying sometimes. And then we have this switch here. This switch was for a sound bar that used to sit on top of the dash here. And I believe I have a picture. If I do, I'll throw it up here of what it is. I was thinking of a cool spot to mount it. I would like to maybe mount the switch or the little speedometer right here somewhere. I do have a bolt that's broken off and I need to address that real quick. After that, I'm, I'd like to maybe mount that there. Now that our bolt's gone, I think that would look pretty good right there. Maybe we get some double-sided tape to mount that up there with. Then we could pop a little hole back here, run the power wire into there so you don't see it. Have it to be able to turn on and off with the key switch. I got some isopropyl alcohol, an old rag. I'm gonna just clean the surface up pretty good. And I'm gonna clean the top of that as well. So I'm just gonna clean it off like that. Let that air dry. And I'm gonna clean up here as well. All right, so I just placed a couple layers on there. Uh, maybe two would be enough. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make uh, contact on three. I think maybe might not be able to make contact on, on two of them. So I'm gonna put them right there. And the, the reason I'm saying is the top is arched down. This is flat. I wish I could do it like that. That'd be even better if you ask me, but um, I'm not gonna take it apart to try. The 
reason I pulled it off just then is because the tape wasn't fully stuck. So I wanted to pull it and move it over some. If the glove box was kind of round uh, at that corner there. So I wanted to make sure I get a good flat stick across the very top of it. So I'm gonna cut off about right here. We don't need that much wire in there. No sense in running it uh, all the way in there if we don't need it. I think if I can run all the way over here, I will. Pop that in there, pull that much off, and slide it up on there, right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the dash off here. Like I mentioned in my last video, these dashes usually have a bolt here and a little cover, and a bolt and cover at the top right as well as the, as the top left. Um, I guess the previous owner did not put one, or took one out of here. All right, so I moved the camera so you guys have a better shot. Uh, this was the cable here coming from the switch that would send power to the sound bar. So this is on the back side of the switch and this is on the front side. Oh, and I see what they've done. They went ahead and tied power in to the uh, input side of the switch. So I'm gonna do that as well. I'm gonna just actually take this off here so we're just going to take this right here and cut it off but connect this power wire here directly to the power feeding the speedometer and this right here was the ground feeding the bluetooth sound bar as well i'm gonna pop that off and uh, butt connect this wire as well all right those are in and done i'm gonna get rid of the switch here it's not serving any purpose on the golf cart. All right, let's check out. Oh, smart battery meter. I like that. All right, so let's check it out. Technically, it has no power now because if it did, it would be powered on. Once I turn the switch to the on position, it should power on because that's the way we have this DC converter set with the key switch. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll place it at the end of this video here. There we go. All right, so we have the meter here. I have my phone recording there. And we're gonna see what both of them are going to. I'm just holding you guys with the GoPro 10. Now on the back of the little speedometer here, you can push the switch in and you can push it to the right or push it to the left. And I believe you can change the colors on this and all. Let's see here. I just held it down, settings, push it down. You can sound switch, let's see, on or off. Speed alarm, 150 miles per hour. I don't think we have that to worry about, but um, I'll hold it. So it goes up 200 and it starts at five miles per hour. Right now, this golf cart does like 11. I'm gonna leave this to 15. Battery alarm. So if the battery drops down low, it'll let you know. But now, remember this doesn't hook to the 48 volts, it only hooks to 12 volts. 
speed adjust 107 percent not exactly sure what that means i'm gonna just leave it alone uh, speed offset not sure what that is either battery adjustment 100 percent i'm sure the owner's manual tells you some of these things right here all right change color one I'll probably leave it in white. Change color two. I'm gonna go to white here because I'm basic. I think white would be easier to see uh, in the daytime and at nighttime. So you have an auto, you have one, two, three, four, five. So it goes up to eight on the brightness. I'm gonna leave it on that. Speed unit, miles per hour, we'll leave it there. Power off time, 180 seconds. Uh, sleep voltage, time adjust. Let's go to the very top again. Hit return, push it in, go to driving test. And we're not going to do any of the speed up tests or anything like that. And I do like that everything is white. All right, so there we go. Now, uh, I showed you what it looks like in the daytime. I think it looks pretty good here. And um, we'll switch to night here in just a minute. We'll take it for riding tonight as well and see exactly how it looks at nighttime also. Now we're in the shop and uh, we just pull back in. We turn the headlights off. You can see, you can see the display really well. And by turning the key switch off, the display uh, turns off as well. Turn the um, key back on, the display powers back on like it should. There you go. All right, guys, so if you've made it this far in the video, I want to personally thank you. Uh, this is a pretty inexpensive modification. Anyone can do this right here. Now, you will need a DC to DC converter in order to do this, and I have videos on those as well, and I'll be sure to link those at the end of this video here. With that being said, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.